In 2013, synthetic meat costed $325,000 per burger. This year, it costs $11 per burger. But what is synthetic meat for those of you who might not understand? Well, let me explain. Basically, synthetic meat is meat that they create from the muscle cells of an animal. They're doing it with beef right now, so they take some beef muscle cells and then it grows into a huge hunk of beef. The reason we have this is so that we can eat meat without eating something that's dead. So vegetarians can start to eat meat. There's a bunch of CO2 being pumped into the atmosphere from the meat industry, and people who still eat meat but cry when they eat it can start eating meat and not crying while they <sighs> eat the meat. What does this mean for the future of food? Well, I have some theories. I just wanted to ask a question about this. If this takes away from the taboos of eating beef, which is the least offensive food to eat, besides from maybe fish and chicken, what's gonna happen to all the other taboos? Are we gonna start eating dogs? Are we gonna start eating cats? We're not killing the animal, we're just taking a little bit of them and putting it in a thing and it grows and then we eat it up. All right, chefs are gonna love this. They're gonna have so many more foods that they can work with. Endangered animals, things like rhinos, lions, things that we think are totally innocent and we would never dare eat. Hey, hey, my, hey, my, hey mom! Yo, yo, mom wants for dinner today. Oh, just the cat? Just a little bit of the cat? Yeah, man, I mean, that's my favorite dish. Monkeys, apes, apes. What's another kind of animal? The human freaking being, all right? Cannibals are going to love this because they can just scrape off a little bit of their body and they don't have to kill them. They can just eat up their bird. People are gonna start eating each other. Oh, hey mom, hey, hey mom, you, yesterday's dinner was delicious. I love that cat. What's for dinner today? Just a little bit of me, son. You're gonna start eating your mum for dinner and it's gonna be completely fine. It's gonna be like, you know, if you could take one thing to a desert island, what would it be? Well, I'd take whatever they use to make this cultured meat, and I would uh, put my cells in it, and then I would just eat myself for weeks, and I'll be fine. As long as there's water on the island, but then again, we are 70% water, so you can just drink yourself too, huh? What's happening, dude? Chefs are gonna be putting themselves in their dishes. You go to some French five-star restaurant, frog's legs won't be the weirdest thing on the menu. It will be the chef himself, all right? Courtesies, th say, say thanks to the chef for me. He tastes delicious. How quickly is it gonna be done? Are you just gonna be able to, to cut off a little bit of your arm, put it in the thing like it's a microwave and it grows a big old thing of beef for you to eat? Like, no one's ever gonna go to the store if they can just have a homemade, uh, you know, meat culturing thing, stand. And you know how chefs, if you are if you give them bad service, they'll spit in your food or maybe pee in your food, right? In, in this future where there is this cultured meat, they're gonna cut off a little bit of their ding dong and put that in the growing chamber and they're gr gonna grow some, some giant chef ding dong. Instead of having a delicious juicy cheeseburger, you're gonna have a delicious juicy, you know, penis burger.